Hi there, this is Ayud and you are watching me on your favorite YouTube channel. So, a couple of months back I had uploaded a video regarding the 6383 IC based audio amplifier and a lot of my viewers have been complaining since then that the 6383 IC makes a lot of noise and you know they have been asking for solutions of how to get rid of that noise and stuff. So, in today's video I will be showing you just that. So, and of course uh, if you guys find this video helpful please do hit that like button and of course subscribe to my channel. And Without wasting any more time, come let's get started with the build. So firstly, let's go through the list of components. First up, we have this which is a dual channel potentiometer which is also known as the volume control. We will be using this to control the volume of the uh, 6 to 83 audio IC based audio amplifier. Now, before we proceed, uh, if you guys have not seen the video regarding the 6 to 83 IC based audio amplifier, you can go check that video out from the link I have provided in the description. Also, we will be using a stereo input socket to take the audio as an input. And I am using a 0 to 12 volt transformer, which is right here. I am using this transformer to power up my 6 to 83 IC based audio amplifier. Now, firstly, I'll show you the connection between the stereo input jack and the volume control. Take a small piece of wire and connect any two of the extreme pins of the uh, volume control, like so. As you can see, yeah. So, let me just show you. So here it goes, you see people can see that these two pins are now connected together. Okay, now take a wire, long wire and connect the middle pin of the stereo input jack like so and connect it the pins that we have just shorted on the uh, volume control. Like so. See, uh, this connect. This is this. Uh, this becomes the ground pin of our circuit. Now next, take a wire. And uh, connect any one of the extreme pins of this stereo input jack. like so and connect it to any one of the extreme pins of this volume control like so see so this is how you connect uh, the uh, stereo one of the pins to this uh, volume control I'll do the same for the other pin as well. See, so this uh, basically brings us to the end of this connection of the stereo input jack to the volume control. Now we will come to the part where we connect this volume control, this circuit to the 6283 audio amplifier. Now I guess you people remember that we used the VC1 and the VC2 pins for in, uh, taking the audio as an input. We will be connecting the volume control to this VC1 and VC2. In fact, VC stands for volume control. 
Now take a small piece of wire and connect the two common pins on the 683 IC2. You can skip this step, step as well, but I prefer doing it because you know to be on the safer side. Like so. Next, uh, connect any connect these two middle pins which are left over to either of the to both of these pins of the VC1 and the VC2 respectively. I'll be showing you. Uh, take a wire, connect it to one of the pins, one of the VC pins of the 6 ic board, and then connect it to the middle pin of this volume control like so see this is how you connect the input with from the volume control do the same thing for the other VC as well ok so now take a wire a long piece of wire and connect uh, this sorted this shorted pin ok this shorted pin is our ground pin so we will connect this pin like so to the ground pin or the, connect, the shorted pin on the volume control it goes now this is how you connect the ground wire of the uh, 623 IC board with the ground wire of the volume control like so ok guys so that brings us to the end of the connection between the 623 IC board the uh, volume control and of course the stereo input jack now we will be giving it some power and using the 0 to 12 volt transformer which is basically a step down transformer which steps down the 20 volts uh, AC supply of your home to 12 volts of AC. Now let us connect this up. You can also use a 12 volt adapter for this purpose if you want to but I prefer using the, these uh, transformer because you know these supply a lot of amperes. Now uh, we will be connecting the speaker. So these are the wires to our speaker. So the speaker is large enough. You know, it's pretty large to fit in this frame. So I'm using these wires instead. Now trust me that these wires are actually connected to a speaker. So I'm not you know faking this up. Now if you want, you can connect two speakers at, at, uh, with this board because you know these uh, amplifiers, the 6-inch amplifier board is a stereo amplifier. If you guys have watched my previous video, I guess people will know that. So you can use two speakers at the same time. It acts as a stereo amplifier. Now I'm using just one, uh, a single speaker, you know, just to, 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 to test this out. Now let's test this board. So I guess you people notice are noticing that there is no noise at all. And it is working like a dream. And my phone is at a full volume right now. I guess people can see that. And the volume control is set at one of the minimum settings. And it can go high. So it's quite loud. I guess people already know that. And the sound is much clearer and much crisper now. So this is what is the magic that this volume control does. Enjoy. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase and leave.